I guess. The spell off the top. <laughs> oh, why mean, did I even draw that card? That was completely unnecessary. <laughs> Never look at the top card, kids. Oh man, Amber Rose just demolished Kanye West with two simple tweets. Oh, of course. I not. don't even know who that is. I don't know either. Viewers, if you know who Amber West is, let me know. Amber Rose. Amber West Rose. <laughs> Kanye West's wife. <laughs> uh, apparently she used to date Kanye. Mm. Good. Good. Uh, this is the dumbest thing ever. What'd you say? Uh, Kanye Read West. it in a dramatic voice. Aw, uh, Kanye West, are you mad I'm not around to play in your asshole anymore? Hashtag fingers in the booty ass, bitch. <laughs> Lol, at Kanye West, now you want to delete your tweets because mother has arrived. <laughs> Hashtag Twitter fingers. Hashtag you're getting bodied by a stripper nigga. Uh, anyway. you were, alright. Like this video if you think it's worse to get fingered. <laughs> or if it, or dislike this video. If you think it's worse to get be the one doing the fingering, <laughs> or the one getting the fingering, okay. Do something with the I don't know. Just comment about your feelings on the matter. Uh, we win the dire. We're gonna play first against Mr. Dagon with the sweet, sweet combo deck. Yeah. Keep in this hand, maybe possibly. Do we have a keeper for once in our lives? Looks like we have everything we need to combo. Oh my god, off, we do. Except for this only produces red, and we need blue for this win con. Do we? We do. But I can't send this back. No, you absolutely can't. I cannot do that. There, you're gonna click it for a second there, though. <laughs> you know, this deck has been performing very well for me, but I have a feeling that the curse of doing video series is gonna come back. <laughs> uh, we do all right in most of our video series. Right? Yeah, but whenever I want a deck to do cool things, it never does cool things. <laughs> uh. Oh. Ooh, playing against Island Ponder. Oh. With the new full arts. Look at that. Wow. Yep. <laughs> yep. As soon as people print full arts, people lose their mind and forget about the power of the Lorwyn cycle. But Lorwyn cycle always comes back. Alright, if we get Pyromatics off the top, that'd be good. Giga Drowse is good. He's an island deck. Giga Drowse will be very helpful here. Uh, Moments Peace, not so helpful at the moment. No. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be keeping this in post board. <laughs> Well, let's see what Who he's playing. Who would that be? I don't know. He's playing something. He's playing something. He's playing a crew land. Could he be trying to do the uh, some like weird combo deck? I don't know. Uh, I should have ran out the Viridian Longbow last turn, actually. But uh, we didn't do that, because why would we even do smart things? I don't know. Fucking ghosts. <laughs> That's probably cool. Um... Yeah, there was a version of this, what this deck looks like at the moment, that uh, using like Cloud of Fairies to untap the lands and stuff, and do cool things. Uh -huh. I wonder if he's uh, trying to bring it back, trying to make it cool again. It'll be interesting to see how he combos off, because the only thing that comes to mind is Mnemonic Wall with a bunch of shit. <laughs> Returning snap. <laughs> okay. And then doing that over and over again. So it seems really... But you need to have a lot of mana to do that. So you're thinking it's a little inefficient. I don't think it's efficient, no. Okay. Um, Could this be the mirror? I don't think he can kill us next turn. So we're just going to run out our crew here and uh, get our land back. Yeah. And uh, not worry about keeping up muddled the next turn. And uh, if he taps out again... Yes. Oh, you know, we could have... Um, what we should have done is we should have transmuted muddled the mixture to get pyromatics because we could win next turn. Right. This deck's hard to play. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, we're going to take the big one damage, so pay for your sins, Rob. I'm paying for them all the time, Dan. <laughs> I know. I'm sure I'll pay for reading those tweets at some point in my life. Kabira Crossroads. Okay, I have no idea what this guy's doing. This guy's out of his mind. Ooh, this looks interesting. I built a similar deck to this, actually, in the past. I feel like I remember you playing something like this. It was a storm deck, though, wasn't it? Yeah, possibly. I don't know. I, I built a lot of crazy things, man. I'm a wacky guy. Uh, we're going to be transmuting the drift this turn. Yeah. 
And we're going to be getting the Flame Wake Invoker, just because Muddle the Mixture might have some utility against this guy, since we don't know exactly what he's doing, and he might have disruption of some kind. You're right. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can win a game here. <laughs> uh, next turn, if he taps out, we can win. Yeah. Um, if he does not tap out, we just wait a turn and we Giga Draws. Yeah. Uh, we got to be careful with this guy, though, because he can untap his lands. Yeah. So let's just hope he uh, tries to go a little nuts here, and then we can catch him off guard. Yeah. Didn't attack with the Voyaging Seder, so he's probably going to cast Muldrifter or something similar here. Compulsive? Okay. Okay. So he's access to three mana now. Ooh. So let's see what he does. Let's see if he can out-combo me. <laughs> out-combo the combo? Impossible. And we do have Giga Drows up for one, so if he... I don't know. Okay, he untaps his White Source. Let's see. Uh, best thing he could do is Oblivion Rings. Okay, so we win. All right, good. <laughs> Just his plan. Yep. All right, Dan, you ready to see what a combo deck looks like in Popper? <laughs> uh, I think I've, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before, but well, you're gonna see it again. All right. In living color. Thank God. Ooh, he's on freed from the real too. Oh well, jokes on him. I'm the freest from the real. <laughs> We've already abandoned the fun. Tap a blue. Put our wind Zenicon and is it boiler works? Tap for three, put Freed from the Reel on. Is it Boilerworks? At this point, he should scoop because he already seen Flame Wave Invoker, but I guess he wants to make us play it out. Also, yeah. Yep, okay. okay. Damn! <laughs> I really wanted to click a bunch of buttons. It was going to be impressive. Um, against this guy, I might take out Giga Drows just because it doesn't seem to be very good against that Voyaging Seder thing. Uh -huh. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and avoid that, I think. So we don't want Moments Peace. Yeah. We don't want Giga Drows. We might want some amount of Giga Drows. I don't know. Depends on what kind of control he's playing, I guess. Uh, we want a Null, for sure. Yep. To counter his Win Con. Yep. And... Uh, do you think he would board in Disruption? Uh, I mean, we're boarding in Disruption. That's true. Uh, I don't know if his Disruption is going to be in the form of like enchantments, though, or something like Oblivion Ring. Uh, he's got white, so it's there for a reason, probably. For Heliod's Pilgrim, most likely. Oh, okay. Um... Well, some sideboard options. You know, you never know. You never know what you know. Do I want to bring in Dispel or Power Sync? I think against an unknown, I'd bring in Power Sync. Yeah. I think Power Sync is the most, like, the broadest application of a sideboard. Yeah, and you know. we can refine ourselves uh, later on, depending on what very, he does. I'm very refined. <laughs> Refinement Dan. He's wearing his tuxedo right now. He's got pizza stains all over it. <laughs> I'm going to the dry cleaners tomorrow anyway. Dry cleaners? Jeez. I'm joking. High class Dan. <laughs> Infinite money Dan. Exactly. Uh, looking at this hand, I think it's fine. Not nearly as good as our last hand, but still fine. Yeah, well, you, they can't all be winners. Against Mr. Dagon. Alright, show me what you got. Uh, do you want to keep a null up forever, or do we just want to lead with a... Well, I mean, he can't win on turn one. That's true. <laughs> he could! <laughs> Dan, I could win on turn two with my other free from the real deck. Uh, yeah, but this isn't that deck. No, it's not. I think, we, I think we can ponder, and then we can keep a null up for a while. Right, I'm going to lead with Evolving Wilds here. Fine. Just to thin our deck. We don't want to draw any more lands. We're good for lands forever. <laughs> Every time you have a five line opener, you're guaranteed to draw a land off the top. It's just right. a fucking fact. I don't know what it is. I think Moto's bugged, but that's how it has always happened for me. Uh, I think you just remember the good times rather than the bad, Rob. I think it's the exact opposite of that, isn't it? Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Alright, um. Do we Island, leave up stuff here? Ponder, or do we wanna ponder. Ponder, is it Boilerworks? Oh, I suppose we would have to discard if we did that. Yeah. Would we? No, we wouldn't have to do that. I don't know. Well, we got eight cards in hand right now. Yeah, I, I play this as my land. We go down to seven. We get our. Eight. Oh, yeah, we would go up to eight cards. So I'm just gonna Island Ponder here. Yep, and then we got a null up, just like you wanted. 
Just like I've always wanted. Yep. Okay, we're going to be able to counter his free from the real. It's going to be great. Uh, looking at these ones, uh, we got a free from the real and trinket mage. However, trinket mage doesn't tutor for anything we want necessarily, but it does tutor. I think we're going to keep this, but we're going to put it like... We don't need the boiler works. That's we don't sure. need the boiler works. Uh, we want... We're not going to cast trinket mage next turn, I don't think. Well, we might. It's possible. We could do it. Well, we're going to draw these two cards anyway. It doesn't really matter. I know. Point. Okay, so uh, we're not going to shuffle. We're going to keep them. And uh, we have a null up. We're ready to ready to interact with our opponent here. For once in our lives. <laughs> I care about what you are doing. And I don't want you to do it. He's got his Blossoming Sands. All right, he's uh, got the life lead. Freed from the real... Would win him the game potentially? Well, not if we annul it. So, if we don't cast this, we are going to draw the other Is It Boiler Works. I thought you put that on the bottom. You don't put it at the bottom of the preordain. Either you shuffle and you, or you get to win. Oh, it. right. Ponder, ponder. Okay. So, uh, do we think we can win next turn? Can we? If he puts free from the real on this, he has infinite green. Yep. What does that get him? I don't know. I'm, this is a deck I haven't seen before. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm just going to take the other Boiler Works. I don't think I have a choice here. Sure. So, I don't think we're going to need two pieces of Enchantment Hate, so I'll just leave up the one and all this turn. Sure. But, uh, yeah, I don't mind discarding, like, an island here or something. You've got a lot of islands. Got a lot of islands. Have another Is It Boiler Works coming up. Yep. All right, let's see if he goes for it. Another Voyaging Seder. Okay, well, okay. I'm not too concerned about that. Okay. Oh, he's still going, though. Heliod's Pilgrim. Okay, he's... That's going to resolve. Grabbing his win con. Free from the real. Okay, that is a thing we can annul. Oh, what if he brought an annul though? Well, he can't annul an annul. <laughs> um, he can try. He would have enough mana this turn. He has two, four, six, seven, eight mana. So potentially he could have a counter spell or another free from the real. Yeah. So I'm going to play this one really safe, and I'm going to leave up two blue, I think. Sure. Or three blue, rather, and just not cast anything. Okay. Uh, my play could be bad, but like I said, I don't know exactly what this is. And I don't mind being safe here, because I'm not feeling very threatened at the moment. Sure. And he's going to blow his turn trying to win. Right. Because who wouldn't? Why would you just not try to win? Especially, he has all the mana in the world. He has six cards. Uh, let's cast a null. Seems good. He's untapping land. Okay. So he's got some sort of counter. I'm Maybe. waiting with bated breath here. <laughs> Does he scoop? He looks like he has some kind of counter. He has Prohibit. Okay, that's fine. But we have another Null. Prohibit this. Okay. Okay. Does he have another Free from the Real? Because that'd be a uh, real kick in the pants here. It would, but he wouldn't win. He wouldn't win this turn. Yeah. Okay, Compulsive Research. Okay. okay, sure. I thought that was it for a second. That's just like, Jesus Christ. Darn it. This guy's just the king of everything, I guess. <laughs> uh, if we get Pyromatics this turn off the top, or Flame Wave Invoker, we can win the game. Yep. So let's just rip that real quick. Yeah, I mean, I think it's our turn to get some of the sickest rips ever, you know? It's gotta be. Man. No, oh, that's not the sickest rip ever. Our third is the boy works. Boy, 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 bo
Yeah, unfortunately, mm. these do not tap for two blue. Otherwise, we'd win. But, well, not this turn, but we would win eventually. Yeah, well, we're always going to win eventually. Um, let's get the forest down. Sure. Search for, I guess, uh... Um, do we want to get the... Okay. If we get the Viridian Longbow, uh, we could win with a Fertile Ground off the top. Yep. Or alternatively, we get a Life Spark Spellbomb to cycle it for the card. Or something we can transmute. Yeah. What do you think is better here? Oh, uh... Because we can transmute, um... Muddle the Mixture for the, uh, Fertile Ground if we need it. Yeah. Um, let's... Cause, I mean, essentially we've got... Okay, let's do the math here. So, to yep. win with, uh... The Viridian Longbow... Yep. We could draw Flame Wave Invoker. We could draw Pyromatics. That's two cards. We could draw Muddle the Mixture. That's three, so that puts up to five. Our, um... Fucking... What's that other stupid thing? Uh, uh, Drift of Phantasms. How many Muddle the Mixtures do we run? Three. Okay, so if we take the Longbow... There's seven cards that could win us the game. And if we take the Life Spark Spell Bomb, then... The, um, we need the Flame Wave Invoker? The Flame Wave Invoker or the Pyromatics are any of our... How many tutors do we have for those? Um, all of our tutors get those. Gets a win con. Okay. Um, seven versus... What are we looking at here? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think the spell bomb gives us the better option then. Yeah, I was kind of leaning towards that. Just because uh, having an extra card is good. Yeah. And uh, we'll just run out the forest here, cast Life Spark Spell Bomb, and uh, leave up the draw ability. Sure. Ping, man, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is going to shut down his aggression pretty quick if he chooses to get busy. Right. <laughs> All right, let's see if he can win this turn. Um. Uh, well, don't forget to cycle your spell bomb. Wait, no, it doesn't Not matter here. anyway. I'm going to leave. I'm going to pretend like I have an ult. Maybe. Well, I was just saying, like, if he tries to win, maybe you could draw something, but it's like, that doesn't matter. Uh, Preordering, he's got nothing. Uh, knowing that he's running Prohibit, we're probably going to bring in Dispel instead of Power Sync. You think so? Maybe. You think so. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, he has free from the real. So he has infinite green. So let's see how this plays out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna F6 here, or yield until end of turn. In right. case I need to cycle my slice sparks, spell. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go make a ham sandwich right now and yeah. <laughs> leave him for five minutes. Mm, leave a. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, he has a whole bunch of green. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> Feels bad being on the other end of this. <laughs> Eight. Whatever he has, he needs a lot of mana to do. Nine. Yeah, I think Power Sync's gonna be bad against this guy just because his Voyaging Seder game is pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. So, what's the win con here? I don't know what he's gonna be casting. Yeah, for. Ulamog's Crusher. I'm trying to think of an X spell that involves, like, blue. That wins you the game, even. Yeah. Or something that, like, mills X or something. Um, there's nothing like that in Popper as far as I know. Okay. So he has access to another blue with the other Voyaging Seder. So essentially he has one blue and X. Right. I just don't know if I see it here. Like, how's he going to kill me? Well, I guess we'll find out. Alright, he has 18. Is there like a green fireball? Nope, okay, he's still going. <laughs> Like a leaf ball that he throws at you. 
<laughs> Leaf ball. All right, you have 20 mana. He's up to 20. He's paying costs. He's paying an X. He's casting something for... Oh, Orox Herd. Okay. <laughs> That's how you want to live your life. He's going to cast a bunch of Orox Herds. That's his win con. That's it? That seems bad. That's really bad. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really just... Okay, so Moment's Peace is actually pretty good here. Um, knowing what we know now, yes. I don't know if it's pretty... <laughs> okay, so uh, glad we didn't scoop. Maybe he wasn't expecting to ever have to combo off, and he's just like, if I just show people I have a combo, they'll just be like, oh, scoop. Okay, we're drawing a card with a Life Spark spell bomb. Not what we wanted. <laughs> Should I put Freed from the Real on uh, <laughs> my Wind Zendikon and pretend like we have it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, see if he scoops. God damn, I'm getting fucking hosed. <laughs> he scooped to it last time, didn't he? Yeah. Oh shit. I tapped the wrong land. Okay, fuck. I screwed up. <laughs> Good <laughs> game. Wait, wait. He doesn't even beat us, though. Yeah, he does. Oh, he does. Never mind. Yeah. These are all 8 8s when they attack, essentially. I wonder if he would have actually scooped to it, though. He only has three Aurochs herds. That's weird. Uh, He didn't make enough mana to play all of them, I don't think. He can make as much mana. That's as the as worst win con ever. It's seriously not great. Um. I wonder if he's like, seeing us play this and he's like, oh man. Power Sync probably not too good. Um, maybe like one Dispel and two Moments Peace or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that wind is awful. I don't know what he's thinking with that. But uh, anyway, on to round three. All right. Hopefully we'll get one win on camera for you guys. Uh, well, <laughs> I was so confident going into this. I like had not lost a match with this deck, I swear to God. I'm sure you've lost a match. Well, maybe like one or two. Yeah. Maybe one or two, I don't know. Maybe. Difficult to say. It is. Orox herd. Okay. Keeping this one. All he needs one freed from the reel, and we got the win con. Where were you last game, Fertile Ground? Yeah. The ground was not as fertile as we wanted it to be last time. It's just the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, running out the Verde Longbow. Absolutely. Right. Showing him we mean business right off the bat. <laughs> Going out the gates. Are you drinking Listerine? No. <laughs> oh, it's Gatorade. <laughs> what has my life become? Wednesday night at the Wettendorf building, we chug Listerine. That gets you really drunk, apparently. It also kills you. Uh, he's oh, playing really? his plant token. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's like 99% alcohol. The only problem is that it's isopropyl alcohol and not the kind that you can digest. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, always put the fertile ground on the island, kids. If you put it on forest, you're not going to make enough blue mana to do what you want. Exactly. Alright, and here's when we rip uh, Freed from the Reel off the top, and then next turn we win. Actually, we don't. We need five mana to win. We get pretty dang close to winning, We get though. really fucking close to winning. He's on mono green now. Uh, we can also still just go with wins and become beats. <laughs> yeah, that uh, strikes me as... That sucks. It's a horrible draw. <laughs> I'm not trying to have a power sink right now. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, don't worry, man. We got this. We won game one. We're gonna win game three. Yep, that's how it goes. He luck sacked into that free from the real though. Uh, I guess. He's getting in there with the plant token. Oh, yeah, man after my own heart. Right. Right. And we're gonna cast Moments Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Just to show him we have it. I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah. This is uh, the transmute spell we don't want. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, we can counter his spell. <laughs> we can counter his spell. Uh, is there anything I want to transmute for? For two? We can get Pyromatics, we can get Fertile Ground, we can wow. get another Muddle the Mixture. <laughs> what we need is Freed from the Real. Um, I don't hate just Muddling the Mixture for Muddle the Mixture, just to thin the deck. Okay. 
Uh, Wouldn't you be better off doing it at the end of his turn, though? You can only do it as a sorcery. That's stupid. I agree. This game's dumb. Fuck magic. Um, muddle the mixture for muddle the mixture. The classic play. Get another moments piece. Uh, you might get a pyromatics and be able to. Oh, that didn't work. We still need freed from the real. Yeah. Let's just get another muddle the mixture. <laughs> Seems good. Okay, we got a uh, muddle the mixture up too. All right. It's the classic play, Dan. Uh, mystical teachings for mystical teachings. That's a thing. Is it? But mostly because mystical teachings says flashback, and you actually get value from doing that. Right. <laughs> we got five mana though. Next turn we can go off. We can go off. He still is fucked on blue. He has enough voyaging satyrs though to go around. He is going to voyage so hard. And hit us for oh he left the plan token on D this time though. Yeah, he uh, he's worried. <laughs> what if I rip life spark and swing in? No! Oh, ask and you shall receive. We're just gonna cycle this I, like immediately. I absolutely agree. Um Ooh. What if this dissuades him from attacking? <laughs> no, um, if we cycle it right now, we'd only have three mana up anyway, so it's kind of useless, but we might draw a Ponder, which we'd want to play, so I guess might as well. Yeah. <laughs> cycle that bad boy, accidentally click on make a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Pyromatics, we yeah. got it anyway. Do you need to transmute for that shit? We don't need to do it. We it's right there. We need to do it. It's right fucking there. It's right there, man. Um, if he draws a blue source, that is a crew land that could be problematic. <laughs> well, he didn't do it. He didn't do it, not yet. Time to lose in the most shameful way possible. Actually, I'm not even concerned, because even if he quote-unquote combos off, all he's going to have is a bunch of 4-4s four that I can yeah, have forever. Yeah, really dumb. Island, there we go. <laughs> uh, muddle for muddle. <laughs> this is just going to be the play from now on, huh? I guess. That's <laughs> what it looks like. Uh, I could get another Fertile Ground so that I could Pyromatics for two, but I'm not going to do that because it's dumb. Gotcha. <laughs> he got in with a plant token this time. He's running scared. God damn. <laughs> this is just feel bad all around. Okay, he's got his White Source. He could potentially play uh, his Tutor Effect. Oh, nope, he's just going to swing in. Okay. He knows the value of my life total. Well, if he wins like this, it'll be hilarious. It would be hilarious, yes. But he's not going to do that, okay. We uh, we got the Drift, which equates to... Freed from the real. Yes. Fortunately, we don't have enough mana to go all the way. Well, just click the thing. I'm clicking on it. Um, just relax. Just relax, dude. We're winning the game. I already told we, you we're going to win this game. We only have eight minutes left. Nine minutes. Almost ten. Don't worry. We can... It's we, not enough time. It's going to be enough time. We're going to lose the game. We could lose this game. <laughs> but... We're definitely going to get game. for two all the time. Don't hit me for two. We're on a seven turn clock. Oh my god. <laughs> he's getting in with the plant token. Getting getting busy. He does not give... I mean, he's probably sitting on a fistful of counters. One can hope. Wait, he discarded Heliod's Pilgrim? Yeah, you think he just cast that. If he was so inclined. Like anyway. you know, last turn. This turn he discarded Sea Gate Oracle. Oh. Uh, maybe he discarded that before he drew his uh, White Swords. Anyway, let's get the wind Zendikon down. Zendikon Force 1. Tap for blue, blue. Green. Freed. You scoop. He yeah! Right, nice, good. That was a well-earned victory. I did so good. I won the game. Yep. You saw it. I saw it. Combo off. Boom, bam, freed from the real. Better than your freed from the real. He didn't have any fun. What is that even? What are you playing? It's Oroxer? a little silly. Jeez. All right, props to my boy, Mr. Dagon. I'd like me some HP Lovecraft. See for match three. Lovecraft. Yeah, Dagon is an elder god. Oh, I didn't know that.